Hello and welcome to Sumo Mainichi's live stream of Jurio and we kick it off with a very exciting picture of uh, the great man, the monster of Rewa, Haku Oho getting ready to come in and that's why we've come in a little bit early. I'm Amy, I'm here with Dave and we've just come in for the end of Makushta. We certainly have. First of all, welcome to 2024, welcome to a new era of Sumo. And I'm calling it a new era of sumo because look at the top of Makushta. This is absolutely stacked. So we thought we'd start a little bit early to bring you some of the action. And of course, I'm talking about this uh, particular bout. Korokuzan up against Hokotomaru. <laughs> Can you believe we're getting this on day one? Oh, it's huge. What an absolute treat. No, I'm joking. This is what we've started for. Look at these last three bouts. We're going to see Yago up against the returning Hakuoho. And I think today we're going to get a lot of questions answered. The Abema vision switchers know who he is and they've got that camera trained on the big man. Yep, they've been given a picture of him and they're like, just you focus on this guy. It's only about this guy. Interesting to see. Number one, no tape. He's tape free. Tape free. I mean, he's got a little bit of comfort tape around the wrists there. Oh, I've got to have I mean, that. that's very standard stuff. Uh, and then we finish. Uh, we've got Chiyono Umi and Satoru Fuji between that. And then we finish with Kayo Abu against Kibura So... A blistering finish to Makushta for day one and hats off to the people who put this program together. Understanding the theatre of sumo, understanding that you've got to get people involved early. Get them warm for Jurio. Yep, yep. The it's very cool to have uh, to have these guys up the top of Makushta. Like it just creates this excitement going into the, the, top, the top division really, the best division of Jurio. Well, exactly. <laughs> and I think, you know, you start like this before you even get to Jurio. We will all be emotionally spent by the time Makuichi comes around, and that's where we all lose interest anyway. Uh, Kotokuzan uh, up against Hokotomaru. I haven't seen uh, Hokotomaru go around before, so I'm interested to see what his sumo is like. Yep. I've either not seen him or he's changed his name and I don't recognise him. <laughs> either of those. Probably are, both. Yeah, probably both. Well, he's pulled it off. He has pulled it off. Where's he been all this time? Big win against Kotokuzan. Not showing up on day one, Kotokuzan. Kevin Jasper, where are you? You need to find your mojo for day two. If you've just tuned in, this is Sumo Mainichi's live stream of Jurio. Please say hello in the chat if you are here. Where you're listening from, I mean, we know a lot of our regulars. We know where you are. But tell us again, why not? <laughs> How are you feeling about Hatsu Basho, about January Basho, number one in uh, the year of 2024? So exciting. Uh, there's something about Hatsu isn't there? I mean, we, we essentially start with a clean slate. Yes, the past Basho was the same amount of weeks before than any other Basho, but what we actually have here, a blank piece of paper, we've got 2024 written at the top of it. And there's one thing that I can say for certain, is that Sumo never disappoints. Uh, you can see the crowd have got in early. So much to see in Makushta, let alone what we're going to see in Jurio. The weather in Tokyo, though, it oh, is cold. Is it? is it? It is extremely cold. We are talking 11 degrees Celsius, uh, which is around 51 degrees mm -hmm. Fahrenheit. Over the weekend, though, it's going to get down to a top of 6 degrees Celsius and 43 degrees Fahrenheit. How does the cold weather affect these guys? Oh, well, they have to rug up. They've got to rug up. They rug yeah, up. Exactly. And then they get into the stadium and it's super hot because <laughs> well. there's so many people in there and there's no air conditioning. So it's fine. Winter, 
summer, spring, autumn, you're hot in the stadium. Yeah. I do feel they are designed as winter venues, aren't they? <laughs> I think so. You're quite comfy in there. I mean, we can see a lot of long sleeves. Yeah, we certainly can. Ono Katsu up against Hokutenkai here. We see some aggressive slaps from Onokatsu, and I don't mind that. They both established belt grips, and it's Onokatsu putting the pressure here on his opponent, but Hokutenkai manages to jam that foot on the back of the Tawara. But wow, Onokatsu surges forward again. Good defense from Hokutenkai here, but it keeps looking like Onokatsu is going to win this one. But Hokutenkai, this defense is phenomenal. Yeah, Good the, win here from Onokatsu, the man who always makes you hungry with the katsu in his name. This is only his second <laughs> basho outside car park sumo. Wow. He came in um, with the special system where he gets to slot straight into Makushita 15. He's from Onomatsu Bear. He's from uh, Mongolia and he's showing some great sumo here. It's a young man. He's only 23 years old, I believe. Can't wait to see what is going on with him this year. But there's the man that everyone has come to see. Hakuoho steps back up on the doyo for the first time since day 15, July 2023. That feels like a long time in sumo. It really does. There's been so much speculation about when he will return. We saw somebody, I talk about how early people put up the banners for Asaniyama. They like to get in at least about ahead. But for Hakuoho, we saw someone during the Jurio Doyo Iri had their Hakuoho banner up for the whole time, which is a bit of a burn on the It is a bit of a burn. Jurio Rikishi. <laughs> I mean, do, do the Jurio Rikishi really need reminding? of what's coming at them next time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think they do because I think he's going to be straight there. Imagine oh, being Yago and being scared da uh, stared down by this guy. His hair is uh, long enough now to be curly. It surely must be almost enough to get up into that. Uh, I feel like his hair, his hair has not grown much in six months. You don't think it's grown enough? Mm. No. I mean, for me, that's two haircuts, three haircuts. You've seen that photo of him going around and how curly his hair actually is. Ah, that right, okay. The um, almost Afro-like oh, hair. Oh, yes, I have, yeah. Hair that he has. And you can see it start to curl at the bottom. It will not be kept under control. He is completing his bout under the watchful eye of Wakataka Kage, the other reason that we've started this Jurio stream early. He is Makushta one. And the other guy just almost... Guaranteed to get back into the Jurio division for Haru. Well, not many people will talk about this today, and this is why I feel like it's my duty to do it. But Hakuoho's opponent today is Yago, the 29 year old from Hokkaido uh, in the northern reaches of Japan. As we see, a very, very happy uh, Hakuoho fan with a beautiful handmade banner. But Yago. Uh, down at his, he's been floundering in Makushta for the better part of a year now, but knows a lot about sumo, this guy. Will not be an easy opponent for Hakuoko. Well, he probably will be. Yeah, he might be. <laughs> I mean, he's very big. He's very big, but his knees are very, uh, very dodgy. Hakuoko going down first. He springs forward, but he is... Too key. Gee, can you feel that? <laughs> the feeling in the uh, Koku Gikan today. The feeling is the end of Makuchi. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Is uh, just going for it. They are keen. There are people taking photos. There's people calling out. There are kids on board. There are banners. This man has just excited the world with his sumo. The sort of sipping of lattes going on. Why not? Very Melbourne thing to do. He's down again. He comes in low. He's got his left arm in. He's pushing forward with that. He's trying to pull Yago down, but Yago is stable. He's got the left hand on the belt now, Haku or Hall, but Yago, he's not going down easily. And Yago lands the left hand on the belt as well, I think. He tries to kick Hakuoho. 
It disrupts Yago enough to get him back, but Yago responds. Yago, oh, the belt has come undone and the match is called to a halt. He must have seen something, the uh, Gyoji, that uh, made him want to stop the belt because sometimes at that point it's not stopped. But I think it's that full loop coming undone. Well, I mean, this is ridiculous oh, adjudication. You don't like it. No, nope. I do not like this one bit. That's not structural, what he's doing there. Mm. The pants were going to stay up. That bout had a great, a great rhythm, a great meter. And I feel, I feel like we've been robbed of what's going on. Oh, they're going again. It's a quick stop. And both of them have hands on the belt. Does Yago have both hands? I think he does. Does Hakuoho have both hands? I think he does. <laughs> This is not the bout that Hakuoho wanted for no. his comeback bout. I mean, the, Maybe. Crowd, the crowd are stunned. This That's isn't what they came here for. A bit for. of light clapping. Get into the heavy clapping. Koku Gikan, support your boy. And also support uh, Hakuoho. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> support both of these guys because Yago has really... Oh, he's dug in here, hasn't shown he? Shown up, absolutely. And he's looking to attack. This is great to see. Hakuoho back. He knows that shoulder is not what it once was. Mm. Hakuoho's thighs, though. He's gone for the kick again, which puts him off balance. And he's just able to pull himself out. And he finally, finally gets Yago down. Yago looking disappointed. Hakuoho looking absolutely buggered. He is tired. Well, what about? Absolutely sublime sumo. Is that a bit of blood on yeah, uh, Hakuoho's face there? Yago's maybe left yeah. eye, or was it smeared on his face as well? I can't tell where the blood's coming from. Yeah, no, look, I tell you what. Um, Yago needs to hold his head high there. You can really tell in terms of uh, his... I mean, he made it all the way to Maegashira at 10. Yeah. You don't get there by accident. And we saw some brilliant belt work, as we see uh, from Yago. Really made Hakuoho work for it. I wonder... I wonder what this means. What yeah. conclusions can we draw from this? Yeah, it really just was not the bout that <laughs> he wanted to start off with or that uh, I'm sure Mia Gin or Oyakata wanted for him. He would have loved to come to Blast back in, but maybe it was just a realistic bout. Maybe it was something to be expected hey. and he gets a hard one over and done with first. Maybe that's the best thing for him. I don't want to come to day one of Hatsubasho in 2024 and deal with realism. <laughs> I want sumo fantasy. <laughs> I want sumo dreams. We want to absolutely just blast through everybody. Exactly. Hey, Can't wait um, for Hakuoho Wakatakakage. Can we firstly say mm. thank you for everyone who's in the chat. We are running a little new system <laughs> with our streaming today. And oh, now yeah, we can see the chat. We Hello, can Tim. see the chat. Thank Hello. you to everybody who responded to my frantic private messages yeah. saying, can you see us? Are we live? Hello, Monster Dong. Hello, JJ Dumbface. Hello, Caleb. A very big hello to Caleb. Hello, Ben Marshman, or as I should say, Professor Ben Marshman. Uh, Anarchy432, hello, Cody. Hello, Scott. Good to see you Scott. in the chats. Cody, uh, I believe it's Cody from uh, Kodiak Woodworking who provided the amazing oh, Yoshi for the uh, oh, Chiyoshoma Henka competition that we'll be talking about a little bit later when Chiyoshoma graces us with his presence. Thanks so much for being here with us. We feel so much better now that we know that you are. <laughs> yeah, because it was starting to feel a little bit lonely. We were lonely. <laughs> Uh, we've got Chiyono Umi and Satoru Fuji uh, providing a little palate cleanser. Yes. <laughs> between it's the dessert you have before the rich dessert. That's exactly. What this is. Uh, so a little bit of something light on the palate before we get into the rich creaminess of the uh, Wakataka Kage bout. And well, uh, Chiyono Umi there keeping his feet as uh, Satoru Fuji came in a little bit out of control. Did I get that right? Yep. Good on me. Pretty sure. I mean, of course, both of these guys at Makushta 4 and Makushta 3, respectively, looking to make their own way into Jurio. Shiona Umi back into Jurio. We've just written them off with a little palate cleanser there, but, you know, they've done their business today. 
they have. In, in front of the growing audience oh, at the certainly. Cooking Gun. Well, here we go. Kayo up against Wakataka Kage. Now, of course, we were in Fukuoka in November. We saw Wakataka Kage go around a couple of days. It wasn't all good news for Wakataka Kage. I haven't seen his knee yet. What do you know about the strapping situation? Let's see if we can get a bit of a look at that. Well, okay, so he's gone with a lot more taping on that right knee than we have Is seen. more? Well, I mean, in terms of what we've seen when he's been practicing, he's been practicing ah, yes. uh, without tape. I, think I like it looks to see quite, it. quite aesthetic, that tape. I think that's beautiful. I'm going to tell you something mm -hmm. that probably I'm one of the only people that can tell you that. Okay. Uh, he did that himself. <laughs> now, it's very, very rare for a ricochet to uh, tape himself up. It's just, you can just tell. He's, had a, he's taken a seat. Got two types of tape. Oh, yeah. Yep. And he's given it a go himself. So, I mean, this falls very clearly in the category of comfort tape. Yeah, they were offering to tape it for him. He's like, no, no, I know how my knee goes. No, I mean, I think it was probably more of a, I'll be right, boys, no need to tape it. <laughs> and then you, you've got time to kill before the bout. Yeah, they got to do something. There are two different types of tape there. Yeah. Well spotted. <laughs> Come you on. you got tape eyes. I mean, that's easy. Just continuing to work on your tape PhD there. There'll be two doctors of sumo in this chat soon. Oh, come on. I, I just have a passing interest in taping. I wouldn't call it doctor level understanding. <laughs> I feel like I need to find my PhD area in sumo. Yeah. It's tension, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Georgie is ready. Kale, what, a, what an experience for this young man coming up against the ex people's Sekiwake. Wakataka Kage. Wakataka Kage out hard, pulls Kayo on top of him. This one is out of control. Oh. It nearly went out of Kurigashi. Oh. But Wakataka Kage gets under the chin and, and dumps Kayo out off the doyo. There's a couple of old people enjoying that bout, and I'm sure oh. seeing Wakataka Kage pick up that win would have added months onto their life expectancy. Good one, Wakataka Kage. Yeah, very good one. A little bit more frantic again than maybe he would have liked. Maybe he just wanted to come forward. Push Kayo out. But Kayo is up here at the top of Makushita. He's no easy beat. But Wakataka Kage did get all over him. Kayo, for a big guy, he moved quickly. Well, I'll tell you what. You very rarely see an Okuri Dashi denial. Mm. He was facing the same way as Wakataka Kage. Yep. Wakataka Kage was all up on the backside of the Mawashi. Yep. And he somehow managed to find his way out of that. I think this is a good news story for Kayo today. Yep. There were two destructions of the Mawashi that we've seen in three bouts as well. He just ripped his Mawashi apart, Wakataka Kage. So uh, maybe today's, we've got to look out across Jurio for a. Uh, Mawashi unravelling. Well, absolutely no break heading into these Jurio bouts. It's like the way we like it. No mucking about. So, Wakataka Kage at Makushita 1. Four wins will see his return to Jurio. Mm -hmm. He went 5-2 last time from him. Yep. And that's one on the board for him. And as you've said, Cody, no knee brace. It's a really, really good sign. He's waited his time. He's come back in low. And hopefully we will see this uh, triumphant return from Wakataka Kage. I would think that most people would want that. I reckon they would. Our first Jurio bout of 2024 is Chia Sakai up against Tochi Masashi. Now, I got a lot of mail uh, over the Christmas break, a lot of Christmas cards, but uh, a lot of letters about Chiyosakaye went 7 and 8 at Jurio 14 East. And the question that I got oh, was comments slash questions. Is Chiyosakaye the luckiest man in Jurio? <laughs> to still be gracing us with his presence in this division, very rarely you wouldn't see a demotion from that uh, level with that performance. Yeah. Cheerio 14, 7 and 8. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I mean, I, I get it. Come on. Having, having Chia Sakai here in this division. Mm. Do you know I saw him walk into the 
um, Fukuoka Stadium. And he always looked so like grumpy, but he looked—he was smiling. And can I say, just on the record, that Chia Sokaye has a beautiful smile, and he looks very dapper in his coming in gear. Now we're getting shots of the cupping uh, on Chia Sakaya's back. I'm concerned because the cupping is not symmetrical. Oh. Well, I mean... It's all over the shop. Maybe he's got different bits that need, like on the no, left and the true. right, you know, yeah. when they say, when they give you a massage and they say you're unbalanced. I need to talk about uh, Tochi Misashi. Well, well, they've turned a Chia Maru towel into oh. a Chia Sakai. Well, 2024 That is innovation. brilliant. That is innov- I'm not wow, even going to talk about Tochi Musashi. We don't even know to, need to know about his 11-4 Yu show <laughs> at Jurio 14 in September of uh, 2022. Here he is back in Jurio. What can he do? He is ready. He's back far and he comes in hard at Chia Sakaya, but he's shoved backwards, but he pushes on the side of Chia Sakaya's shoulder and he gets a big old win. That's a day one win for Chio, uh, Tochi Musashi. I'm now thinking just about the towel. Yeah, the towel. I'm only thinking about the towel. Because how has no one ever thought of that before? Okay. When, do, when does the Time magazine do their people of the year? Yeah. Could you do it on January 14th? Is it too soon? All you need is two towels and a couple of clips from... Oh, from um, Top Q Hands or Loft, yeah. Yeah, from Hands or as it's donkey. called now, I think. Donkey. A uh, couple of clips. Tochi Musashi, he looked great there. Mm-hmm. Really puts those two, four, eleven performances from January and March last year to the back of everyone's mind with a, a dominant yep. performance against the inform. Yes, the inform Chiyosakaye. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, gee, it's a uh, been a very emotionally exhausting start to the. I know you start a little bit early and you. Yeah, Just we've seen a lot already. Get overwrought. But here we go. Up next, we have Yuma coming in at Jurio 13, up against Orshomi at the same rank. An old bloke holding up a T-shirt. I didn't get a good look at that one. <laughs> did, what did that T-shirt say? Now, I'm going to kick us off here with a discussion of the tape on uh, Orshomi's shoulder. I think it's going to come off because it's already lifting. You know when you put on a Band-Aid? and it just doesn't catch, and you spend yeah. the whole day flicking at it. Well, if you can see, they, they've torn the tape, and so mm. it's got jagged edges. It's not going to stick down properly. You do need to make sure you have uh, some kind of scissor mm. or cutting implement, and you can see it's bunching up around that uh, back shoulder area. Mm. Which I think he's going to find very uncomfortable. But, or show me coming in at Jurio 13. He's on debut. Yep. In this rank after... Is it too strong to say blitzing his way through Makushita? Only taking 14 or 15 months. I think so. And he's from Ishikawa, which is the area that experienced the earthquake the most. So uh, there's quite a few rikishi who uh, are from up there in that region. And so hopefully he... uh, He's not too distracted by that. It's not the best thing to happen right before your Sekitori debut. You know, maybe worried about some family and all of that. But the man from Naruto Baya will come in, I'm sure, with uh, terrible tape, but good preparation. <laughs> a beautiful Mawashi colour. That deep blue, it's one of my favourites. Oh, it it's shiny. A, it's a very, very rich tone. Uh, his opponent today is Yuma. Another man who was lucky in the Banzuke after going 7 and 8 at Jurio 13 East maintains that exact rank. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't mind uh, the people who make decisions being a little generous down that end of Jurio. Yeah. Everyone deserves a second chance. And with Yuma, I feel like he's popular. Oh, absolutely. I don't know where I've picked that up from. Maybe just the All general right. sumo community, but... Uh, you stay there, Yuma, and you do well. Gyoji points the Goombai forward. He is ready for some sumo. We can see Shimpan X Koroshigiku yep, ready beautiful. for sumo as well. Never looks that into it, though. No, he's, he's just concentrating. Yuma, with his fist down first on the left of your screen, comes hard but pulls retreat. Or show me on the attack now. They trade high attacks to the face. It's Yuma looking for the belt. Brief moment of silence, but it's all a show me here. But Yuma... 
pulls the rabbit out of the hat. Somehow, under an amount of pressure from Orshomi, steps aside, picks up that win. That was beautiful defensive sumo from Yuma there. Loves it. He was pretty happy with that on day one. Or Shawmy would have perhaps thought that that was in the bag, in the royal blue. But uh, Yuma just too fast for him. Kept on his toes. Or on the balls of his feet. He kept stable anyway. Took some slaps. <laughs> she oh, rode did the they tawara. have a look at that? They have a look at a puff of dust no, there. No, well, they knew Kotoshikiku was on that side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He would have called that if he oh, saw yeah, a puff. Oh, yeah, he's got eagle eyes. Gee, that was a beautiful. Know, so we we definitely Yuma. didn't see him uh, miss a very know. important oh, call when he was in his first uh, basho. I think he's got some new prescriptions in those glasses, yep. so he is yep. eagle-eyed this time around. Yep. So a win to Tochi Musashi, a win to Oshomi. And now... Here are both my boys. Now, this is a bit of a battle of the hearts for me because, of course, Mr. Sumo <laughs> on the left. Just a great man. Loved well, by, beloved. You, it's even, it's above loved. It goes loved, beloved. You, you don't get to be Mr. Sumo. Yeah. Without, not just, but it's not a question of, are you a good person? Of course he's a good person. Mm. It's about the massive influence he's had on not only sumo, but Japanese culture. Yep. And roundness in general. He's yeah. just made a commitment to uh, the circle. Now, would you believe that the last time he fought at such a low rank was back in May 2016? I mean, he's got some questions to answer yeah. in this basho, Mr. Sumo. A bad result at Juryo 12 could see him leave yep. the division. And I think there'd be some questions coming from his camp about his uh, viability mm -hmm. in uh, making it back. Scott in the chat, uh, famous, famously Scott and Annie were on television in Fukuoka with their Chiyomaru <laughs> sign, <laughs> repping for the, uh, the people's Yokozuna. Gee, I want to meet these people. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sign and oh, the, yeah. uh, the NHK uh, coverage, spotting them. Now... We could talk about Chiyomaru all day. Yes. But let's talk about his Yes, opponent. please. Yes, I will. Ten Shoho. Uh, I'm a new fan and I'm a huge fan. I'm not sure what's happened here. A lot of people speculating about Kirishima as uh, Yokozuna, about the ongoing Ozeki battle, about what's happening up there, about Takakesho, will he ever get Yokozuna? But me, I was worried for a very long time in November about whether Ten Shoho would go out of Jurio with a 5-10 at Jurio 10. I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Uh, he was treated very fairly, I think, very in the Very fairly. Bunza, no Bunza one else, case. every time I saw someone else talk about it, they were like, he's fine, he's fine. I just had a few sleepless nights well, about it. to slip two ranks with a 5-10. <laughs> yeah, he was all right. I mean, he's, he's done okay there. <laughs> and as you said, that 5-10, he was a bit unlucky. Yep, yep. He was unlucky on 10 days. Now, I feel like this time around he needs to repay my uh, yes. investment in him. Let's go Ten Shoho, although, as I mentioned before, Battle of the Hearts. They go down, they take a while. Tenshoho, he's down first. He comes in hard at Chiyomaru. Chiyomaru with a little step to the left. Tenshoho pushing at his chest. Chiyomaru couldn't come up with anything against that. He got rocked backwards a couple of times. It's a win. A little smile from me for Tenshoho on day one. Uh, I'm looking was, at you. Yeah, well, how's well, your, what's I, your feeling here? I think that, that was hard to watch. As we see on the replay here, Chiyomaru didn't really have a lot of answers to the questions that... Ten Shawhall was posing here. Great pressure applied from uh, Ten Shawhall to the upper body of Chiyomaru. I mean, as we saw, the Abeba camera flicked down to the legs of Chiyo Chiyomaru there as if to ask a question. Where's the footwork? Yeah. Yep. He can have good footwork. He can be uh, light on the toes. He's a bit of a dancer, I feel like, at the Senshiraku. <laughs> Parties. He would rock out a bit of the old oh, dancing. Absolutely. Dancer. 
Yeah, I've never seen it. <laughs> a little bit of ballet? And I feel good about imagining it, though. <laughs> I don't think they dance at those parties, just sing. Uh, welcome, Siggy, to the chat. So great to have you here. Dr Quack, you're late, but we <laughs> value uh, you dropping by. Um, Very much so. You know, we're only three bouts into Jurio. What a start. Yeah. Is it only three? It's well, only three. I feel three. like Jiro has been going forever. What a division. We did start a little bit early with our coverage today. We saw uh, Haku Oho in a, a bit of a difficult bout, a long mm. bout against Iago, eventually take the win, but perhaps not looking as strong as he had in the past. Uh, and we saw Wakataka Kage beat Kayo as well. So just kicking in a little bit early to see those final Makushta bouts. And here we are. Akua. Well, this is the kind of matchup, Akua versus Hidenumi. <laughs> you put, the Tori, you put these two against each other and you build the rest of the day around yeah. it, right? I mean, That's what a here. treat. The clown prints on your screen at the moment. He's changed ah. his mawashi colour again. Well, he's gone for, well, he's either gone for a lighter shade of uh, emerald or the white balance on my monitor. He's oh, yeah. a little bit off, Could and I think be. both are equally likely. I think that's different enough that that's an actual different colour. What would you call that colour in paint world? You'd call it... it uh, it's a light, light blue green. Aqua, it's a I light think. aqua. Yeah. Aqua. aqua. I now call <laughs> If I go into the paint store, if I go into Bunnings, and I'm like, oh, I need some aqu aqua paint. How do you say the original word? Aqua. Aqua. If well, I yeah, want some aqua paint, I say, can I have some aqua paint? It was funny because we went to, a, we went to a, a pet supply store early to buy some cat things. <laughs> yeah. And you go, that's a nice aqua aquarium. And I'm like, no, it's an aquarium. <laughs> but I mean, that's the effect aqua has on people. You, you start to forget words from your native language. <laughs> uh, Here's a bonus. Hidenumi. He's been around. Play on. Let's yep. just take oh, pause no. here. No, no. Pause. pause oh. it up. Look at that. Look at that. I question the staying in on the close-up for from Abema there. I reckon go back. I reckon as he throws. Yeah, well, zoom I mean, out. The, the work experience kids doing the camera today on Abema are doing a very, very good job. I mean, I'm aware I've uh, got a lot of thoughts on content creation, but <laughs> I think I'm allowed to... Uh, Give my opinion on that. All right, it looks like they are ready to go. Aqua on the left comes at Hidnumi. Tries the Kakanage and it's unsuccessful. Hits the ground first and Hidnumi picks up the win. What an opening for Aqua. Yes. <laughs> Against, Love it. Uh, Hidnumi, the brother of Toby Zoro, who I did not even say a single word about ahead of this match, but he's got his win on day one. He went six and seven and two days off. At Jurio 11 West, he stayed at Jurio 11 West. Yeah, I like what they've done with the bottom of the buns here. And he's rewarded the Torakumi committee with uh, this win here. That was a lovely Kakanage Now, can attempt, I tell though. you, this bodes well. Mm. This bodes very well yep. for Aqua. He's tried it on day one. Tried on day one. I've got a new competition. <laughs> on which day will Aqua succeed with the Kakanage? Well, I would like to book in all of them. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's going for the Sumo Mainichi One Cup, One, one Technique, technique <laughs> Prize. <laughs> An early campaign there. That's so fantastic. A uh, bit unlucky it didn't work today. Yep. But you win the prize by forcing a uh, technique that isn't really even there. Yeah, he's got it for the uh, forced Kakanage before. I think maybe his record was four or five. But uh, hopefully it'll come off for him. The man stepping up on the doyo here is very popular. He's from Isagahama Bea. He is a commentator's nightmare if you've got uh, Takara Fuji in the same division, which luckily we don't. This is Takeru Fuji. <laughs> it might not... Ta Takara Fuji is at Magashira 15 in Makuchi, so Yes, so it's we not... We could have a crossover oh, at we some could. point. That's we right. could. Unless Takara Fuji falls out and goes in time. Which is my Huge. You heard it here first. Sumo Manichi, Takara Fuji he's is like, thinking about retirement. He's listening, of course. Yeah, and of he's course. like, why he are you talking about in. my retirement? I'm going fine. Um, but Takara Fuji mm. 
has a set the sumo community ablaze with his sumo. 24 years old, hailing from Aomori Ken. Aomori Ken. Uh, the 24 year old. Lots to like about his sumo. If you look back over his record, he only turned up to one day of car park sumo in September 22, won it, yeah. and said, that's enough for me. That's enough, I'm good enough. And really, uh, since then, doesn't really, he's not well acquainted with the loss. He's only lost one, two, three, four, six bouts. Seven basho. I mean, this is why people are excited. Yeah, there are virtually no black dots there. He's a white dot merchant. <laughs> yes. He is. Loves to attain them and keep them. His opponent is Haku Yozan, who dropped down to Makushita for Fukuoka Basho in 2023. He started off well. He was like, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll win Makushita, thanks. He well, started off with four wins and then he got three losses. No, I mean, I mean this is Haku Yozan. He understands sumo administration he knew that at makushita won four wins was enough yeah and this the final week of the uh basho where he lost all three that was about conserving power mm -hmm. yeah i mean he's, he's a thinker yeah, he was busy he had things to do <laughs> takeru fuji no big stairs nothing funny He's got the big thigh, small calf model mm. of the sumo body. Beautiful thin calves and he goes down second and he takes Haku Yozan straight back. He had a plan, he executed that plan and it was 100% on uh, worked. Yeah. It was 100% worked. <laughs> I'm doing well. Yeah. Well, English is a very, very difficult language. We, as we take the replay here, we see Takeru Fuji absolutely roll Haku Yozan under the arms. Didn't need to find the belt. No. Committed the body too strong, too quick. And look at those sideburns. I'm predicting big sideburn action from Takeru Fuji. I'm going to take a risk here and say, because I think Takeru Fuji is on a lot of people's radar. But for me, I'm going to admit it. He's under the radar for me when it comes to, you know, Haku Oho and Atami Fuji and Ono Sato, you know, some of the young ones who are really coming up with a lot of hype. Takeru Fuji, you know, he's, he's just hit yeah. the hype meter for me. Sure. Well, after what I'm you sorry, saw today, everyone. you're like, people who can take Haku Yozan out so easily yep. deserve your respect. <laughs> And, you know, to be honest, a lot of your sumo searching time online is very Ten Shaw Hall based. <laughs> I just love him. You got the Ten Shaw Hall blinkers on. I just think he's great. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, up next we have Dei Shaw Hall at Jurio 9 up against Shiden at Jurio 8. Dei Shaw Hall, the 29 year old from Mongolia, coming off. A bit of a disappointing 5 and 10 back in November. Hopes to start off uh, 2024 with uh, a bit more positive sumo. You have to go back to March 2023 to find the last time day, time day Shoho got a um, uh, kachikoshi. Oh, day Shoho, please. He Doesn't is feel good. No. His opponent, Shiden, old mate Shiden. And I say old because he's 32 years old. He's from Kisebea. And actually, I should say at this point that Kisebe has a new Instagram and YouTube channel. So there's quite a few uh, stables that have Instagram accounts now. And I feel like the stable account is the new individual account. You know, we were all so upset when uh, everything went down and there was no more social media from Rikishi. But actually, the stables have kind of taken over. Tokisikaze has one, Naruto has yeah. one. Now, Kise has one. I mean, sure, when you have Heya run social media channels, you won't see the hijinks no, as much, I but suppose. any content is welcome. I think so. And no, I, think, I it's, think so. It's filling it in. It might not be exactly what we want and need, but it's something, it's really interesting to watch. Shiden at his highest rank as well. He is Jurio Hang 8 on. West. Hang on, really? Yep. Wow, he feels Give like Jurio 6. Props. 
feels like he was or feels like he is now? Oh, I, feel, I think he is now. Feels I mean, like. he's certainly uh, fighting at a Jirio 6 level. Big part of the Sumo Mainichi uh, feeling is, is the rank feeling. Yeah, rank feeling. Mm. Uh, Dr. Quack, great point. Uh, the Takeru Fuji sideburn certainly picking up the mantle oh, that Chiyotaryu. I saw that. What They're really nice. No, I saw his sideburns. Well, I talked about them. Weren't you listening? Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, like, as he no, was going no, out, absolutely. I liked them. Uh, Monster Dong, very interested in Shiden uh, doing well, sending his best wishes through the YouTube chat. I'm not sure if Shiden's going to get a chance to check his phone before he goes out. Not sure, but we'll see. Oh, JJ, I was going to say about uh, Futaka Yam. Fu oh, well, that's probably why I didn't do it. Because, let me have a little look. Futatsu Gonoyama. <laughs> Futa Goyama. They are. Futa Goyama, yeah. They have oh, a great food, food one anyway. I've, I've talked too long. All right. It's time to go. <laughs> Let's go. Dai Shouho on the left of your screen. Shiden on the right. I think Futa we, we are... <laughs> We're in for a, a treat, I think, with this bout. Shiden tries to go low. Daishaw Horse stands up. He's under the arms of Shiden. Shiden in all sorts of trouble and has to step back. Got too high there, up yeah, under the arms. He did. Not only were his arms lifted up, but the elbow of Shiden was right up in the air. Can't do anything from there. I want to see this replay because I felt that Shiden went low early, but he was stood up very quickly. It wasn't the cleanest touchy eye from Shiden, really. Yeah, and you can see he's trying the Makakai there, but Daishouho can just swamp an opponent, and we see that again today. Yep, he's going to get that Kachikoshi you mentioned that he hasn't had. And nice to get a clean, just a super clean win on day one, and that's what he got, taking us to the next bout. Christmas right. Shimanumi. Shimanumi. Versus Asakori. <laughs> I, I just dwelled on him. Yeah. Because I, I wonder it, about him. I think about him a bit. Yeah, I think it's worth lingering on Shimanumi, who is at Jurio 8. Uh, and if you are concerned that we have lost our feed of the sumo, there's just some commercials running. Uh, so we'll be back very soon with the action. But um, Shimanumi, he's at Jurio 8. Hasn't had the best time in Jurio, although he is fighting at his highest rank since 2023 Hatsubasho. So one year ago, he was at Jurio 8 and has been exploring the depths of the double-digit Jurio ranks. And he's, he's finally said, it's not for me. I'm better <laughs> than this. Uh, after that 9-6 uh, effort in uh, November last year from Jurio 12, I think there's still sumo in Shimano Umi, even though he's 35 years old, even though his sumo career from here is very much set out for him. Yeah, yeah. We'll move into some kind of way. Yep. yep. And we've seen quite a bit of uh, changes recently in, uh, in stables with the new Otowayama stable established by Kakuri <laughs> over the break. He was able to purchase a stable that was already one, already had a dojo, already was set up from a real estate company, which is super cool. Well, they call it, that's a turnkey solution. Uh, you basically go to the real estate agent and say, I want to buy a dojo. Oh, yeah. It's not a fixer-upper. No, exactly. Mm. They're like, well, we've got young guys there. They're practicing right now. Yeah. You've got to come and check it out. Yeah. I'm very interested to see what comes out of it. Oh, that can't hair, wait though. for that. Right? Yep. His opponent, Asakoryu. X Ishizaki. Ishizaki. I don't know why I love to remember his old name. I think it's just because it was so cool. I know why. It's because it was clearly better. Yeah, I think it was. I, I mean, Ishizaki's. Most, that's yeah, a good name. Most I'm happy to dispense with. Ten Shoho. I saw someone in the chat say before that Mukai Nakano was clearly better. And I, oh, I don't. I, just, I, I don't agree. I think with that. in my scholarly. Uh, I think in chapter four I might deal yeah. with the name change. Oh. And I, I'm not sure where I'll come out at this point, but. Uh, you know, I'm feeling towards Mukai Nakano because I think it's really complex, just no. like the man himself. No, 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 no. Mm. I think it's a it's a bit of branding genius <laughs> to go, 
Okay, let's workshop this. Mukaina Kano, you can... We need to cut down the amount of words here. Mm. Or syllables, not words. Yeah, there are many. There are many in that. Ishizaki, though, moved to Asakoryu, the Asa, uh, from his stable in the same stable as uh, Asano Yama. So... What are Does the anyone, vibes in that stable at the moment? It's all right, Takasago. There, there might be people who have better kanji knowledge. Anyway, I'll talk about it later. But what does the middle kanji of his name mean? Oh, yeah. The final kanji means dragon. What does the middle one mean? The middle I one. I can't read the middle Let one. Let us know. Here we go, Asakoryu. Down early. Shimonumi just disregarding his feelings. He will be ready when he is ready. Oh. And that's what that makes for. A How? big old mutter. I just want to call it out now. Shimano Mi has a different sumo aura about mm-hmm. him. Do you think he's... Oh, there's something Whoa. calm and balanced. I think he's rocked us accordingly. Mentally. Oh, yeah. oh, already. Yeah, he's lost it. Do you know where my mind went when he said that, that he was getting ready for retirement? Why am I <laughs> oh, no, always no, concentrating no, no. on retirement? <laughs> Come on. All right, he's making him wait again. The hand stretch down and he goes. I don't think he touched, but that's okay because it's going and he powers Asakori out. It was uncontrolled and oh, actually the hand's up for okay. a Here Interesting. We go. Here we go. Let's take a replay there. That looked like a very straightforward call there. As we see picture oh, or split screen. screen. Split screen, so they've got one of the work experience kids to make a new Gmail account and get that split screen. Oh, did enjoy it for long. But we see a replay here as we see Asakori. Oh, it might have been the heel going over. He was, oh. That's clear. Oh, yeah. He's out. Yeah. Might have been the heel rocking over the, the left heel. I mean, the Georgi saw it. The Georgi called it correctly. I think that's, a, uh, I think very that's an quick, okay mono actually. Yeah, very quick mono I like it. Like when you're up on the Tawara and you're moving backwards, that uh, motion across the rope, you know, can be a thing. Yeah. So, the decision upheld. Well, that would play into your theory oh, that well, he was no. fired up. I, I just, it, it was like my body felt something. Oh, I saw him get up on the day. Or, it was, I mean, maybe he knows, maybe he knows this is the last time. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it plays into my theory. Yeah, it plays oh. into your theory. Oh, I go mean, out on a high note. I mean, that was one of those high, what do they call it? High risk, high reward moves. Yeah, go for it. Uh, not responsible sumo, but today Shimonumi picks up the win. Now, I hope everyone agrees Shirokuma is a good name change. Well, you'll have to find out. It's coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold back my opinion for a few more bouts. Oh, one more bout. I can see him there. <laughs> Kagiyaki oh, yeah. up against Shishi. Now, I believe uh, Kagiyaki also from up in uh, Ishikawa, Ishikawa yep. area. Yep. And I remember that mostly from when we went to Kanazawa and we we're at the train station and they had cardboard cutouts of him, Endo. Yep. And someone else. Uh... It wasn't who we mentioned before because <laughs> they were in Sun Dunme or something yeah. at that time. <laughs> they weren't cardboard cutout worthy no. at that point. <laughs> But Kagiyaki, he's lost the huge face bandage that made him look like a bit of a, a bit of an angry devil. Now again, I'm I'm feeling something about oh, yeah. the way Kagiyaki's approaching this. Kagiyaki, he he said si- enough's enough. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. Exactly. Yeah. What's he at? What's he's his? Oh, he's oh, Jiryo well, they're, they are both Jurio Seven, seven Jiryo. coming into this bout. That's that's his parents. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Yaki. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, but a beautiful uh, towel there. Just the, the statement that is that single kanji on the gold towel. His opponent today is Shishi at fighting at, I think this would be, no, it's not his highest rank. He was at Jurio 5 back in November. 
And he hit a little bit of a road bump there, mm. going six and nine. Yep, he was still going all out. You could still oh, see him absolutely. putting absolutely everything into every bout. He is uh, energetic. <laughs> he has a different style from a lot of other Rikishi. I mean, it, he's a, a pusher thruster, but he just goes for it. He launches his whole body into it. But uh, people were seeing him, his opponents were seeing him coming and able to put him down. Exactly. But, but I think Shishi's at that stage where he, he feels quite malleable in, in his style. I think we're seeing a Rikishi being born. Yeah. Like, he's still cracking out of the egg, Yeah. I think. And yep. I, I think there's a lot of excitement about him. To see his style of sumo get him so far already. Yeah. He's young. He's impressionable. Deeply in love with the sport. Yeah. And also for, I mean, us who came in around the time of having Kaisei established, of having Aoyama, Toshinoshin, you know, to see another foreign Rikishi come up and and be so successful and establish themselves. It's, it's really interesting to see how he'll fit into the whole world of sumo. Absolutely. Georgie's ready for some sumo. I'm ready for some sumo. Kagiyaki on the left of your screen, Shishi on the right. Shishi down first. Gets, tries to get under Kagiyaki. Kagiyaki throwing out the thrusting attacks that's forcing Shishi back. Shishi's trying to find an answer here, but Kagiyaki pouring on the, the pressure. Hands underneath the shoulders and then under the chin. Oh, there's two happy parents. <laughs> so proud of their boy. Kagiyaki, you can see the scar on that right eye. Yeah, can't, can't you? And that's because we're streaming with better resolution than oh, we oh, have has before. Has everyone noticed? <laughs> Please notice our oh, new setup. Sure. It's um, good, right? It's better than it was. We take the replay here. What happened? Well, Monster Dong, you uh, commented that their styles are quite similar. Mm. I think that's right in that uh, they're both coming forward with sort of outstretched arms. I feel like Shishi has more movement. Kagiyaki, for me, I always think of him as being more set with his arms and maybe his slight uh, lesser amount of movement worked for him then where he was able to take Shishi's more frantic approach and, and put it down and move well. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to see those two fight in future because I, I think you're right in that they're similar. Are Kagiyaki. you calling a rivalry? Or maybe. A new rivalry. Well, it depends how Kagiyaki goes. I mean, is he going to get back up? Or? Well, he's our Shirakuma fan. Yep. Here he is. Uh, X. Takahashi. All right, talk me through <laughs> this. What do you think of this change? Oh, no, I like it. I mean, Shirakuma, it, it is a better, uh, a better name. Uh, Takahashi, oh, on, is, Takahashi, as you said okay. in the chat, uh, Bob Smith, a sort of more standard <laughs> Who said that? sumo name. Tim? <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> uh, uh, moving really to good. Polar Bear. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, it's kind of cooler. It's kind of um, more individual, isn't it? He just has a, he's got a... He's got a persona now. Oh, well, well no, okay. I mean, it's okay for us to disagree, but... Uh, oh, you don't like oh, it? Oh, no. I, well, I was very attached to Takahashi. Yeah, I, I mean, as a, as a massive fan of... I, I inserted massive in there because I am Nishon Seki yeah, exactly. You know, I, I sort of had seen him coming up and, and was quite beholden to the name, but, but Shirakuma is, a, is objectively a cool name, I think. Toki Hayate, another, this is another battle of the hearts for me. Love both these guys. Love Tokitsu Kazebea. Yeah, Tokitsu Kazebea. Toki Hayate is 27 years old. His birthday is one day before my birthday on yes. August 25th. And we saw a famous smile from him after Fukuoka Basho when he got to uh, be in the, he was part of the Ichimon of uh, Kirishima. When he got his win, we got him to, to see a big smile from him in the big photo at the end of the year. Um, and I'd made the comment that, uh, oh, polar bear, that's cute. Yeah, so Shiro Kuma's name translates to white bear or polar bear. Is it polar? It's not polar bear, white bear. Yeah, Shiro Kuma, yeah. But I think so. I don't know. Bear. I'm guessing. Uh, well, here we go. We're going. Toki Hayate down first. He comes forward, Toki Hayate, but it's actually Shiro Kuma who gets in the lockup. So he's got the left hand on the belt. Tokihate has the right, and he tries to throw, and he succeeds in the throw. 
That's a loss for Shirakuma on the first day of his new Shikona. He lands kind of uh, badly there, on yeah. an arm as well. I hope that's not something in the future on the right arm. But powerful from Toki Hayate. He's got some uh, some power in that Hello. match. What a statement from Toki Hayate. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've got a comment too. Toki Hayate looking... His build looks very, very strong. A lot of conditioning work's gone in uh, under the watchful eye of the staff there at the Haya. Beautifully controlled uh, the momentum of Shirakuma there. He's looking good. Is this the year of Toki Hayata? Oh, please. Are we getting ahead of ourselves? What I would give for it. Wate Dashinaga is the Kimarite there. Have they been putting the Kimarite up on the screen, or is that the first one? No, I think they've been putting it oh, up. I've not been paying I've attention. I've seen a couple and just not said them. Well, well here, here we go. Is. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. So, Chia Shoma up against Oshoma. I'm going to tell you the percentage of people who uh, voted for a day one hanker. So, should we talk about if you're new to the channel? Oh, yes. Sure. Chia Shoma has been a, uh, well, he's a hanker artist. <laughs> Uh, and we've been running competitions for a little while now where if you can predict the day that Chia Shorma does a hanker, uh, you win a prize. Mm -hmm. And the prize this time around, oh. I know it's against our policies for us to enter, but I was very tempted to try to sneak an entry in because we have such an incredible prize. Yep. It's a pair of Hiyoshigi from uh, Kodiak Woodworking, who's in the channel who makes these by hand. It's a Japanese musical instrument, you can call it, that is played before the, at a range of times throughout the uh, day, before the final bout, uh, in between, clapped together, um, connected by a beautiful length of cord. And you get to choose your cord color uh, of the prize. And so, thank you so much, number one, Cody, for, uh, for sponsoring this prize. Uh, thank you, Ben Marshman, for sponsoring the previous one where uh, there was a Chia Shoma. Oh. Um, was it a Tagata? Tagata? Yep. To give away? Yep. Uh, it's a really fun competition to run. And I should say no slide on Chia Shoma, but he does do a lot of things. No, and also no. <laughs> also no slide. So a bit slide, of a slide. No slide on the non technique of Henker. Yes. Yes, we Hankers, love it. it they're makes, legal. They're legal. It makes the sport very, very rich and interesting. Mm. Uh, I can well, tell you how many people uh, went for day one. It's uh, one point one point eight percent of entrants were extremely brave and went for a Chia Shoma hanker on day one of Hatsubashu 2024. Well, all I can say is that one point eight percent of the people who entered this competition. Are brave and <laughs> yeah. I admire that yeah I mean imagine if he did it today yeah well I mean you should wait until the last moment and and enter knowing the Torakumi of day one. Oh, interesting <laughs> all right looks like they are ready to go Chia Shoma oh slaps forward gets the uh, the left hand right on the belt trying to pull Oshoma around look at that sumo from Chia Shoma I've always said it, when he doesn't do the hanker and he gets on the belt, he can look very, very dangerous and just completely outclasses Oshoma today. So, for 98.2% of entrants, yep. that's good news. Yep. But for 1.8% of our entrants, terrible news as uh, <laughs> you are out of the running for the Chia Shoma hanker competition. And look, I should say, if you weren't able to enter this time, if you forgot Monster Dong, I saw you before. <laughs> That's fine, no worries, enter next time. However, if you don't know where to enter, you can follow us on Twitter or Instagram, we always put it up there. Uh, Facebook, a little bit less so. Welcome to the chat, Sumo Punks. Yay. Sumo Punks, so good to have you here. Uh, and Corey, great to see you here as well. Uh, Tabby, I don't think we've mentioned Tabby. Yeah. Tom, Hello, Tabby. Tom Dodson. Yeah, hey Tom. Hey Tom, nice to have you with us today. Dr. Quack, I really like that. So Chia Shoma, he went eight and seven at Jurio six uh, in Fukuoka. He'll be looking to try to move back up to the top division. And he's, he started off well. As you say, he's, we have this whole hanker competition, but when he doesn't do a hanker, oh, he's so good. he's so, pretty good. He's so, so good. 
Well, our, our next bout in Juria, we have Thomas Shawhall up against, Ooh. and I have to comically rub my eyes here because oh. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I will not believe. The champion, the hero of Nebaoka. We have <laughs> Koto Echo. Not on the screen at the moment. Gambare. But, uh, so what's our policy with playing the song? Do we play it? Well, well, we're, we're talking about here. this live now on, yeah. on, on stream. Like, will we play the Koto Echo song if he gets Kachikoshi here in Juria? Yeah, I think we should. I think we will. I think we should. It's just be an interesting kickoff to the podcast. We're just like, before we talk about the actual uh, action of today. And by interesting, you mean a very good start to the podcast. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it as the um, intro music. Miyazaki. Love that idea. <laughs> and I mean, on your screen at the moment, a typical Koto Echo fan. Exactly. Refined, beautiful. A, a, a person of class. Yes. A person who understands culture. Oh. A person who understands history. Yep. Yeah. Understands a great man. She's, she's aged well. Oh. She's looking good. She's beautiful. fashionable. Yep. I mean, that's just you, you, your typical Koto Echo fan. Yep. And I am one of them. Yep. It's his mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Tamashaw Hall <laughs> is his opponent. We are big fans of Tasty Towel. Here we go. Yeah. Will he do it? Well, ca- I don't think a member have got a camera over mm. that part of the... Yep. No, reverse Tasty Towel. They don't have a camera on that side, but they understand the importance of Tasty Towel. And I'll I'll take it from the back. And Tabby, I should um, acknowledge that I think that Tasty Towel was your IP. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) Which Which we are. I mean, we've licensed it. Yeah. And we're still waiting on the invoice, but uh, you did a very reasonable uh, fee for us. Yeah. (laughs) But it's Tasty Towel. It's so brilliant. He is an excellent Rikishi who is jumping forward. Oh. And he pulls. Ooh. That's a Hadakikomi. I'm going to yep. call it now. Yep. Uh, he pulls Kodoeko forward. He lets him dive forward. He knew that on day one he'd be keen to come forward strongly, commit to the touchy eye. He did, and he pulled him straight down. Oh, I don't well, I mean, listen to right. the sounds of the Kodoeko. Yeah, they were, weren't they? As we see here, I mean, it has every, everything a Henker has. It just happened a little bit after. The uh, touchy eye there. Smart sumo from Tama Shoho, and would you expect anything less uh, from this Rikishi? No, important for him. I mean, he's been on the way up for a while. He, I feel like he's very motivated, so, Tama Shoho. He got to his top rank of Juria 1 in uh, September, oh, went 4 the, the wheels fell got, off there. Well, he got really injured. I remember he could yeah. barely walk. He was hobbling yeah. around. So this is actually a quite a miraculous recovery for him yeah at, very quick uh, uh in quick January. recovery mm. yeah i mean he's knocking on the door at jury 4 let's face it yeah and now we have the introduction to hatsubasha that i always forget the official name for it's guys coming out <laughs> and standing on the day while hakaku now who, there's uh, someone I, speech. I don't recognize at the start of this procession oh, i have, haven't seen is it, it for, oh, oh, who oh, is it Oh, he's back. And I've got to say, it's great to have him here. Yeah. When they announced that he was coming back, I I didn't know how I'd feel. I was a bit like, oh, yeah, it's playing out. And then I was like, actually, I feel fantastic that he's back. That he's taking up space in that front row, that he's crowded out Kirishima. Look, I've got to say, I'm going to be really honest with you. Looks like he's lost a bit of condition. Yeah. He definitely has uh, in the in chest. the upper body. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. not looking quite as strong across the shoulders. So he has been, uh, he's been training obviously, but um, he has been fighting. He's been going to other yeah. hey yeah. he's been uh, doing really well. Has he been doing really well? I think he's been doing really well. Okay, yeah. Yep, I think he's been kind of kicking ass. He's been beating Kirishima. Uh, Takayasu actually is the guy who's been wow. doing amazingly <laughs> in training. I heard that, that he's practically unbeatable in these uh, practice sessions. Yeah. Are, are people going easy on him? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, actually, maybe I hope so for my own... Uh, Investment oh, yeah. in Takeyasu. So Kirishima, very important basho for him. We all know why. Going for Yokozuna. 
Emotion and Ura show us Ura. Yeah, I mean, Komasubi is holding his head high. Great positioning with you know at one end of the back row you've got Takiyasu. Arikishi has been there so many times. At the other side you've got Ura. Almost like an upstart in yeah. the Sanyaku. There's the shot of him. What an honour. What an honour for us to be alive at the time that Ura is here. I'm so wow, sensual that camera in. angle, panning slowly up the body of Terran Fuji. Eyes are up here, Abema. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, look, we know Terran Fuji's coming in. There's still a bit of hip bone that's somewhere in his body that they can't tra quite track down. Yes, he's lost a bit of conditioning, but the experience and mental fortitude that Terran Fuji has, you can't discount it. I mean, we were speaking, I think, in the 2023 wrap-up. He turned up once in 2023. One of them. Yep, yep. He either goes out quickly, I suppose, or, or wins it. <laughs> Knees yeah, are still. I think I agree with you. Knees are still. Paper mache it up. Who else do we need to talk about here? Hoshoryu, I mean, he'll do Hoshoryu things. Kodnawaka the same. Ura, just so great to see him here. There was a beautiful interview with him on Sumo Prime Time in the lead up. I haven't seen that. Go back oh, Terana Fuji's mum is there. Check great. it out. <laughs> great to see. She's come across from Mongolia to be there today. Oh, oh and Takiyasu towel in the back. Okay. Great to see. What is oh, oh, hey. Look at the way he's walked off that dojo. They've Hang on. Into that. He looks very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Great to have you back. Maybe he's just got Terana used Fuji. to the pain. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll rewind be. that. No, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I hadn't have said that. So we've got a few bouts left to wrap things up in Jurio. Three bouts to go. We've got Roga up next against Kidnawaka. Nishiki Fuji. Hello. Up against <laughs> Tohakuryu and what, are you doing here, what about to close out Jurio? We've got Daiyamami up against Mitoriu. <laughs> I know. When I was going through the bouts for you and, and yeah. letting you know it was coming up, I got to Daiyamami and Mitoriu and I was just like, mm. what's this all about? I think I could fix that. I think if we put Roga and Kidnawaka last. Yeah. Oh, heaps better. Build up to that. I mean, yep. that's, a, that's a great doubt. Yeah. Daimami Mitori should have come before Tamashoho or Kodoeko. Agree. Completely agree. Because there should be two, there should be rank. I mean, I know that Mitori and oh, Daimami are both Cheerio 1. Yep. But there should be feels like rank, which is taken into account with the top. Not feels like rank, it's something different again. No, it's like a. It's entertainment value. It's a it's shadow. EV. It's a shadow rank. Shadow rank. It's not published, but everyone knows. And you don't put Daimami and Mitori last. No. I mean, you've built this day of sumo. Yeah. You're building an enter you're in entertainment. Let me throw an idea past you. Is this part of an effort to drive people out to the food and beverage offerings? Oh, so Going, that they're back for I can get a head Shimizumi start. Aoyama. Okay. I'm so happy no, about oh, Shimizumi you... being in. Oh, I shouldn't have made fun of that bout because I'm so happy about Shimizumi being in Makuchi. Well, also up against Aoyama yeah. back in yeah, yeah. Makuchi. Yeah. Then... Bushosan Onosato. Are we Oof. doing Makuchi today? I think no, we're, we're going not. all we're the not. way. We're, we're going all the way. <laughs> One day we will, but not today. Mm. Would you guys keep listening if we did? Well, don't ask them. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very tempting. But here we have Roga against Echidnawaka. Now, Roga, you back in Jurio. Great Roga. to have you back, mate. Uh, let's you not you talk about that. Roga was... Russia. He just did Thomas not look Sushi. like himself in his Mabe. debut Makuchi uh, appearance. Went 5 and 10 Nishigata. and just Nishigata. could not get it happening. I, I think this Nishigata. is necessary for him Nishigata. in his trajectory to come back to Jurio, bed down what he knows. Sakata Goes Sushi. back next time under Nishigata. the radar. He's not a debutante. I think we'll see a much better effort from him. His Jurio 3, that could be in March if we're lucky. And I'd like to copy everything that you just said about Kitnawaka. <laughs> Because the same thing happened. He ended up on 5 and 10. The one thing I can tell you, though, is that on day two of Kyushu Basho, Kidnawaka beat Roga Skuinage. Okay. So he's got at least that. Both oh, of the them mental a terrible edge. time in yeah. Maguchi, but maybe he's got the mental edge. He did have a good start of those two wins where I, <laughs> I was just fooled straight away. I just love the start of a Basho where you're like, 
day one, somebody wins, they look powerful. You're like, carry that feeling across for the whole time. Look at that bat. Gee, that's a beautiful kid in a like a picture towel. Have they made that themselves? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about the custom towel scene. He'd like that. Yeah, he'd love that. All right, Georgie is ready for some sumo. Wants to know who is better out of Roga and Kidnawaka and has decided that sumo is the best way to do it. Kidnawaka down first. Roga hits him hard, gets underneath, but it's Kidnawaka pushing hard, resisting Roga with the left hand, but Kidnawaka wasn't bothered and powers uh, Roga out. Strong sumo from Kidnawaka today. It was. Very strong by him. That's two in a row oh against Roga. And their head-to-head now moves to one to three Roga's way. Uh, Kinawaka's way. Uh, Brian Jones, welcome to the chat. You're going to the sumo next Sunday and Monday. Yes. And you're going to be wearing a sumo Mainichi t-shirt. Let's get you on TV. That would be good. That would be very, very good. Thanks for dropping by the stream. Oh, sumo Mainichi wrapped at the sumo. There's a lot of people going this time around. Yeah. Every and time every... I hear about it, I am just get a little bit more jealous. Exactly. I was going to say <laughs> I feel deep sense of hatred towards these people <laughs> because I'm not there. <clears throat> We What's went, our plans for this year? We went twice in 2023, so we, we really can't complain. No. What are our plans for this year? 2024 might be a quiet mm. quiet one for us going to the sumo, although we met up with Professor Ben Marshman mm. uh, during the week, and he was talking about he's got a trip planned to see the Nagoya Basho, and mm. I thought, hmm. Could we just pop across? Could for a we weekend? just pop across? Weekend week. Week and a half. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking of going for Christmas, which obviously doesn't doesn't work align out for the with the We've got a couple of other things this year we need to do, but Sumo's on the cards again soon. Nagoya. Nagoya. Hot old Nagoya. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I lived through a Nagoya summer when I lived there, and I vowed I would never do it again, but I've got the taste back. If I'm like, it wasn't that hot. If you're interested in the, the Melbourne weather for the last probably three weeks... It's, we're in summer, obviously, but it's been, it's not usually super humid in Melbourne. Oh, oh Bema's gone down. That's Bema nice. down. Um, uh, too many people logging on for the Nishiki Fuji to Akuru you about, <laughs> I imagine. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. This is an Abema problem, not a Sumo Mainichi problem, but we're here with friends. We're going to be fine. Um... What was I talking what about? What were you talking about? Going to oh no oh that it's been humid in Melbourne. Yeah, it's been really it's very it's very interesting uh, what I was talking about. Here we go. <laughs> it's been humid in Melbourne. <laughs> Certainly, it's has just more been. humid than normal. And we've been getting all hot, going to the gym, getting hot, getting sweaty. Wow, anyway. look at this. We've got Doctor Quack, a huge blizzard going on right now where I am. And we've got Brian Jones. <laughs> the goal is a picture of me and Short Eye. Corey. You're closer to the chat than me. <laughs> Jeez. we got to get some thongs printed up ASAP. Well, All I'm right. doing it. O- old mate, Nishiki Fuji and Tohakuryu. Nishiki Fuji all over Tohakuryu. Yes. The cream rises to the top. That's Makuchi Sumo Tohakuryu, if you don't recognise it. Nishiki Fuji, we need to really... Mm. Uh, Appreciate every moment that we see him out here in Jura because he will not be here for long. No. What do you think? No, I, I, I think so. I mean, I, I guess there's been injury to the left arm um, uh, and a loss of confidence with that as well. But that was very good. That was getting up under the arms. That was decisive. That was comprehensive. That was any other uh, synonym that is like decisive and comprehensive. Brilliant <laughs> win for Nishiki Fuji. He... He would not be pleased with being in Jury. No, and look, I mean, you can tell. Well, he's been replaced for... Bring it on, Abema. Just go for it. Um, he's been replaced <laughs> in Terana Fuji's Doya Eerie. He's yeah. not there anymore. We've got Midori Fuji. We've got Atami Fuji. Atami Fuji obviously eclipsing pretty much both of them, Midori Fuji and Nishiki Fuji. But at least Midori Fuji managed to keep his head a little bit high. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ishiki Fuji has yeah. moved down in the pecking order, and I'm sure that he is not uh, very pleased about it. So well, coming out blasting. The, I mean, win. he just had that face expression after he won mm. that said to me, "Of course I won." Yeah, yeah. Get the camera off me. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Don't even look at me. Don't look at me. Don't cover me. Don't <laughs> think about me. I'll be back. Yes. Uh, we're taking a few ads here from our stream, but uh, Corey and Siggy in Japan in Feb. Oh, yeah. 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 There's literally so many people going to Japan at the moment. Mm. It's, it's very exciting. It's hurtful. <laughs> it's disrespectful to us. How dare you come into our chat? And be that way. Just post so many pictures. All I want to be doing during my day at work is scrolling through people's pictures on Instagram. That's what I want. We have Daimami in this thrilling finish to Jurio today against yeah. Mitoriyu. The loneliest man in sumo. Mitoriyu. Uh, Daimami coming into the swan uh, after a very, very solid 9 6 in Jurio 4. He did have a good match show last time. Looked solid. His feet are on the doormat now and he's giving a light little rap. <laughs> And he's going to say, I'm ready to come back to Makuchi. I've been there before, sure. I was back there in July 2022 and I disappointed you. But this time is different. They're like, are you a new exciting young Rikishi? Like, Kakaoho or Nosho? He's like, no, but I deserve it. No, I'm 31, but I want another shot. And I think he deserves it. Leave me alone. But standing with his body weight against that door today is Mitoriu. As you said, the loneliest man in Sumo. Uh, so I think it's going to be a good matchup. What's higher? Their head to head is 3 10 Mitori's way. Hmm. Interesting. Mitori, it does make you think. <laughs> Mitori knows a lot about Sumo, no doubt, has a lot of experience. Would not be intimidated by the slightly larger Dai Mummy today. He has been up in Makuchi a couple of times, the most recent in May of 2023. He managed to stay there that time for three bouts, which was his record. It was only one before, so he can get up there. He does have the uh, the strength. He does have the power. He does have the skill. Certainly does. He's hard to move. I mean, this is actually a good bout. I'm going to go ahead and, and upgrade this okay. in my mind to a good bout right. because look how big these two are. This is a good, old-fashioned, big guy bout. Okay. I, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah where you can't that. move, you know, how are they going to get around each other? Welcome to the chat, Kay Bunny, and thank yes. you for your kind words about the podcast. We'll be doing one tonight. It will be out just after the Makuchi action which i'm really looking forward mm. to what do we have tonight terana fuji ura mm. oh. wow come on diamami mitori this is an exciting bat i'm fully committing to it they go in diamami a little bit lower he gets his arms around mitori but mitori has the right arm inside and he uses it to well, almost get diamami out and it's the Di diamami on the return he uses wow. that Flip back off the tour to take his momentum all the way back across and push Mitoriu out. Well, I think. Did Mitoriu take it a little bit easy there at the oh, end? I he wonder. Just that final that push. That final push, Dai Mummy. Great sumo from him. Back <laughs> against <laughs> the wall, <laughs> finds <laughs> a way <laughs> off <laughs> the Tawara. As we see, <laughs> it was very much one way traffic <laughs> here with Mitoriu controlling that movement, spinning Dai <laughs> Mummy around. Look at him riding with that left foot jammed back against the Tawara. I don't think Mitoriu was quite ready for that. No, Mitoriu tried the same thing on the other side. He tried to stick his foot in there and hold yeah. Daimami off. But Daimami had all the momentum of the moving across the doyo, which gives him the final win. What a great first day of Jiro. Brilliant day of sumo. I mean, when is it not? Yep. And a little bit of Makushita as well. Brings us to the Makuji Doya Iri kicking off. I can't help. I'm not going to say them all, but I can't help saying Welcome, Shimizumi. It's lovely to see you. Here. So great to see 
Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we're not going to name everyone who's worth walking out there, Bushozan, but thank you so much for joining us <laughs> on Sumo Mainichi Tomokaze. Yep. Uh, today, so great to hang out with people who love Jiryu. Yep. Uh, surely, just the most uh, refined and classy people. Yep. Chirunumi. Yep. Jiryu people are the best. And, uh, we love you for being with us. Thank you so much. And uh, the podcast will come out tonight. Yep. Um, we'll see you then. Bye.